U.S. Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Tonight, we're on to week two of the NFL season, and we got a good one on tap, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Two clubs here, each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. In motion right goes Sutton. Lawrence looking to pass on the first play. He finds his target, Allen. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. They'll run with a big back, A.J. Dillon. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Motion man left is Lazard. Lawrence. He dumps this off to Dillon underneath. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. And that is 
is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a second and ten. Motion man left is Lazard. From midfield now, Lawrence. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They run again with Dillon. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And the ball is loose. Dillon lost it. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. After all of the... that they had last week another turn and now as with every potential turnover they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure so that one overturned they say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble on second down Dillon and he'll get it Touchdown, Minnesota! A.J. Dillon, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Vikings go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. He well, finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. Out of the gun, Herbert dumps it complete to Miller. Escapes the defender. Touchdown, Chicago! Kendra Miller, 31 yards. And the Bears are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Vikings now to start their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend. But you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there. You don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited. Here's a diving catch right side. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? Uh, I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissues. <laughs> Dillon now on first and 10. They'll get this to about the 38. The Vikings had 0-1 on the year following the loss of the opener. And listen, they knew last week they were in for a tough fight on the road. But now here's the home opener and a chance to get things right. And I like the way that you presented that because the bottom line is they didn't come out of that loss discouraged. They just came home and said, hey, if we do what we're supposed to do, protect our home turf, will be just fine. And the Bears in the nickel. They'll wait there in the dive. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Motion man left is Lazard. On third down, Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field. And he's got a man complete. And he'll go down the number four game. He's inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. And that last throw, CD, going to move him even further up that all-time passing leaderboard as he just moved beyond Broadway Joe, Joe Namath, at 27,663 yards. And that's impressive because Joe Namath, my goodness, he could throw a football. I mean, it was just gorgeous the way he threw it. Rallied his Jets to a Super Bowl win, one of the greatest upsets in NFL history. Broadway Joe, the man. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And it's third down. You look at this Bears defense. They come into this one ninth in the NFL against the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if we can get to it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 18. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Ten more there and another 
first down. 3-4 defense, and that O-line really dominated the D-line on that play. And think of it this way. With a 3-4, you have a natural bubble over each guard because those guys don't have defenders over them. Oftentimes, if you want to run up the middle, they can get upfield and get on the linebackers right now, and that gives the running back a heck of a chance to get into the secondary. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Motion man left is Lazard. Dylan. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. They're held again, and do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. This offense two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. Now Lawrence. And it's intercepted at the goal line. He's got daylight. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Aubrey now for the point after. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Losers in the season opener on Sunday. They get that quick turnaround 96 hours later. Here we go. They're back at it. And I've got to think, especially early in the year, that's a good thing for these guys, is it not? It absolutely is. And we've seen it many times demonstrated over the years. Teams have a rough opening game, have to play the Thursday game. That quick turnaround allows them to go ahead and throw the other game out, focus on the new one, and typically they play much better in game two. So I would agree with you totally on that. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. And taken right at the 35. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Bears take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. On first down, it's Herbert. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring it down. 
Josh Allen coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Sacked, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Throw left side taken in by Miller. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here's Herbert. And that's complete to Hunt. No gain on the play. And fourth down. Excuse me, snarkiness here. Isn't the idea of completing the pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, he, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. On first down, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Second and ten. This is Dillon on the counter. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 55 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter or misdirection without everybody selling the heck out of it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Lawrence. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and two. In motion right goes Sutton. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Open man here, the tight end Henry. He's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball, but I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can, and that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Running right, here's Dillon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really 
They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Here's second and ten. They run once more with Dillon. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Lawrence to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 17-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They go draw play. It's Dillon. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll run here with Dillon. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Now Lawrence. Now swing pass for Dillon. Touchdown! A.J. Dillon in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. But he is putting in a great all-around game, Charles. He already ran one in for a score, and now they utilize him in the passing game. And they put a lot of pressure on a defensive coordinator and defense, don't they? Because they're used to him as a runner. But he turns out he's just as dangerous as some of those receivers, and he showed it right there. You don't pay enough attention to him defensively, he makes you pay. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. shot before the break for Herbert and they're able to get this one across the 35 and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports and we welcome you back alongside Charles Davis and getting set for quarter number three here 
A field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense ready to go for their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter and Charles if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check isn't it but also they've had some success in their passing game so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have the control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced. Either throw up or run it and try to win this ball game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, Guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Completes it to Miller. Well, almost, but not quite. He got nine. Fourth down. They certainly look like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And the gamble pays off. They get a big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert, so they snap it straight to the up man. What's his responsibility? Normally, obviously, just to protect, but he's got to be a guy that can be pretty agile, too, right? Yeah, without a doubt, because you're talking about a guy, even in protection, he may have to slide up and down the line of scrimmage. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. 64 yards. And the Bears had six to their lead. Aubrey good with a PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Right, Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. Sutton reeling it in on the left side. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Dillon up the middle. And oh boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. They'll get this into the hands of Dillon complete. Well, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Draw play, Dillon, and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second 
From the shotgun, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. In motion right goes Sutton. Lawrence. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 36. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. After that run for a first down, I don't know that confidence can be much higher for an offense. They're doing exactly what they want to do on this drive. In motion right goes Sutton. Now Dillon on the inside give. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Motion man left is Lazard. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Forced out to his left. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Lawrence will throw. Lawrence hit on the ball is three. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it's a turnover there on the lost fumble, and this third quarter could not really have started worse. I think that's a great observation because this was a close game at the half. They gave up the touchdown the opening drive. Now they turn over the football. This game, it can get away from them pretty quickly if their defense doesn't step up right here. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. A short throw to Ingram. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, Justin Herbert. 
Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Again, Herbert steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Got to love that efficiency. Now a throw here to his running back. Into space at the 45. As they finally wrangle him in at the 48. Pick it up. You're embarrassing us. What's going on, guys? Back. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Things looking much rosier for them here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and ten. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Herbert. Caught. It's Huff. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Eleven more yards there. This methodical drive continues. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and ten at the 41. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. Here's Herbert once more. Throw left side complete. That's Miller. Five yards, now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And this play will be banged up. And Rush is back in the 38. So now the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief there when they only give up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And that'll be complete to Dillon. 
And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 18 more yards there and another first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now Lawrence on first down. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. The 20, five, and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. In motion right goes Sutton. On third down, Lawrence has taken in by his big tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think you could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Lawrence going to throw again. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Here's Herbert. Throw left side taken in by Slayton. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Herbert. Run in by Huff. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 34. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They're going to pass here with Herbert. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. He dumps this off to Dillon underneath. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw there complete to Allen. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Give him another one right back to Allen. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Looking to throw Lawrence. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. To throw again is Lawrence. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Aubrey now for the point after. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A final shot now for Lawrence. And this is dropped it incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. This time is run out on this ball game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Bears, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Minnesota, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.